Hello fun people, I believe Tylung should be redeemed. With the knowledge that he will be resurrected in Kung Fu Panda 4 through the sorcery of the newest villain, the Chameleon, today I want to discuss why I believe Tai Lung will evolve into someone who is capable of seeking forgiveness. Unlike Shen, who slaughtered innocents, and Kai, who remained steadfast in his resentment for centuries, I believe Tai Lung is capable of forging a new path for himself. Yes, Tai Lung was a dangerous villain throughout his mortal life, but maybe he would look for something more in death. What I think is special about Tai Lung is that while he was consumed by rage, vengeance, and pride towards the end of his life, that's not what he wanted his legacy to be, and that's not who he truly was within his heart. As the adopted son of Master Shifu, Tai Lung trained his entire life to become the Dragon Warrior. Shifu convinced him that he would someday take on the burden of reading the Dragon Scroll so that he could become a legendary hero. I loved you too much to see what you were becoming, what I was turning you into. But deep down, what he wanted was to make his father proud. So when he was not chosen by Ugwe to be the Dragon Warrior and Shifu turned his back on him, Tai Lung was devastated. And that's something we can connect with because we see his humanity. We understand how rejection can be extremely painful, especially when it's done by someone we love and respect. We know Tai Lung's subsequent violent rampage on the Valley of Peace wasn't the way he should have reacted to being rejected but he wanted to feel like his sacrifices for his father weren't worthless. He hoped he could show that he was deserving of more than what he received. Tai Lung thought he had to keep fighting to earn love even though that brought him so much pain and suffering. And unfortunately for Tai Lung, after a lifetime of struggle, hardship, and service, when he inevitably confronted Po, the true noodle-loving dragon warrior, he was defeated and skadooshed away from the Valley of Peace. Now for years, it was left ambiguous what the Wuxi finger hold did to him. The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. <laughs> but through Kung Fu Panda 3, we were introduced to the existence of the spirit realm and the reality that Tai Lung's soul lives on. Paul didn't completely erase Tai Lung from existence. He transferred him to the spirit realm. And we know that without a doubt because Tai Lung was on Kai's chains when he returned to the mortal world. If Tai Lung had been completely obliterated, then of course his story would be over. But now that we know that his spirit persists in another plane of existence, then that means means he has the opportunity to be redeemed. Every master must find his path to inner peace. But would Tai Lung actually seek redemption and inner peace? Tai Lung was able to hold on to his pain for decades, but his entire understanding of life has been completely deconstructed, which means he can be reconstructed. He's been beaten, humiliated, and humbled by experiences over and over that prove that he's not the Dragon Warrior. On his original attempt to seize the Dragon Scroll, Tai Lung was taken down by Ugwe. When he came to take his revenge on his master, Po erased him from the mortal world. And even after death, Tai Lung was defeated again and enslaved by Kai. Tai Lung has been overwhelmed by the truth that everything he believed about the world and himself was not true. He was not all powerful. He would never get the opportunity to prove himself again in the mortal world. And there is no secret way to unlock your full potential. I don't want your apology. I want my scroll. So if he ever hopes to heal himself, he'll have to attempt to find greater meaning in his spiritual life. And I think that could begin by internalizing what he learned from the Dragon Scroll. It's nothing. In the audio commentary for the original Kung Fu Panda film, the directors even stated that Po revealing the meaning of the Dragon Scroll provided Tai Lung an opportunity for redemption. And even though he didn't accept that his true power lived within him, that doesn't mean he'll never understand that lesson. Tai Lung will forever be forced to consider the wisdom Po shared with him. And even if he tries to reject peace, wisdom, and truth, I don't think he'll be able to forever. Moving beyond his pain and suffering is not a simple task, but I think it's possible, especially when Master Shifu inevitably joins him in the spirit realm. 
it's an unfortunate reality that Master Shifu is approaching the end of his life. When Shifu was unable to grow with Ugwe's presence, that was when Master Ugwe determined the time had come for him to move on to the spirit realm, and I believe that moment is approaching again. Shifu's destiny was to train the dragon warrior, and now that Po has found inner peace, has mastered Chi, and understands his role as Ugwe's true successor, the only thing that's left for him to do is to stand on his own as the Grand Master of the Jade Palace. But for that to happen, Shifu would need to pass on. It is time for you to continue your journey without me. And once that happens, Shifu will be able to see his son again. Originally, I thought that Tai Lung would eventually turn to Master Ugwe in hopes of understanding his purpose in the universe. But when I thought about it more, I don't think he's the best teacher for Tai Lung. I think it has to be Shifu. If nothing else is able to bring Tai Lung to seek out inner peace, I think it'll finally happen through the guidance of his father. Yes, Shifu made mistakes when he raised Tai Lung, but there's no one who loves Tai Lung more and desires to see him healed. I have always been proud of you. Since Tai Lung's defeat in the Valley of Peace, Shifu has grown to become a patient and wise leader by being the master of the Dragon Warrior, and I think it would be incredible if those lessons were able to be passed on to Tai Lung. Even if Tai Lung fights against Shifu for a thousand years, I can't imagine that Shifu will ever stop fighting for his son's forgiveness. If anyone could change me, it was you, the greatest Kung Fu teacher in all of China! While Tai Lung's legacy across China has been solidified as a villain, that doesn't have to be who Tai Lung remains in the spirit realm. With his eternal existence, he won't be able to undo his treacheries against the Valley of Peace, but maybe he'll be able to move beyond his desire for control over love, honor, and acceptance. I believe Tai Lung will eventually embrace that he was not destined to be the dragon warrior, and maybe he'll even come to respect Po as a great master, especially since Po was responsible for freeing him from Kai's servitude. If Tai Lung can somehow find inner peace, maybe he won't just be saving himself. Maybe he'll also be revitalizing the relationship he had with his caretaker, master, and father. I mean, come on, wouldn't it be epic to see Tai Lung fight alongside Po against a villain? Think of how powerful it would be to see Tai Lung sacrifice himself and everything he thought he wanted to save China, or how emotional it would be to see Shifu and Tai Lung embracing one another as father and son. Fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson. Thanks for watching, and have a magical day.